Hello everybody, in this video, we're gonna learn about casting. All right, let's get going. All right, so just a review. If I take integer one plus integer one, that's gonna equal two. So integer plus integer is math. If I take string one, and that's string because it's in quotation marks, and string one again, string one plus string one is 11, and that's concatenation. So now if I try an integer plus a string, that breaks. And if I try the reverse, a string plus an integer, that also breaks. You might also remember that anything that comes from input is a string. So if I print out the type, it says it's a string. If I add it to another string, it joins as you expect a string does. Now let's try to do some math to it, and it breaks. So the question is, how do you ask somebody for a number and then do math to that number? And the answer is you have to transform it between the types. So you might remember our types. We have integers, floats, and strings. And by doing something called casting, we're going we're gonna to transform one into a different type. So here's how it works. It's called casting. If you want to convert something to an integer, it looks like this. Int is the command. You need the parentheses. And whatever's inside the parentheses is what you're converting to an integer. In this example, I put a variable inside the parentheses. There are similar commands for SDR, which converts to a string, and float, which converts to a float. And again, a float is a number with a decimal point. So here it is in action. I have the integer one plus a string one. That gives me an error. So I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna cast the second string one into an integer. When I do that, what I get is a integer one plus an integer one, and that's equal to two. This also works if I cast that string one into a float. So that gives me one plus 1 1.0, which is 2.0. And finally, I could go in reverse if I wanted to. So again, I have an integer one plus a string one. I could take that integer one and cast it into a string. That gives me 11 as I expect. Casting is not permanent, and hopefully this example shows you how. So I have the variable number equals to one, so that I can add it to a string one, I cast it to a string, I print it out, and I get 11 as I expect. But when I print out the type in the very next line, number is still an integer. It was a temporary change, not a permanent change. So this is how I make it a permanent change. So what I wanna do is I wanna go variable equals to int variable. What this does is it permanently changes the type of my variable. I could save it to a new variable if I want, that's up to you. Here's an example to convince you of how it works. If I say variable is equal to the five, the string five, and my code says variable is equal to int variable, then I'll substitute in variable. So that gives me variable equals to int string five. And when I cast that, that's equal to five on the right side. So then I do variable is equal to five, the integer five. And hopefully you can see that that's a permanent change to my variable. Here are some of the common mistakes that people make. First to review, string plus an integer is an error. So in this example, I have number equals nine, and then I have you have number plus strawberries. So this is an example of a string plus an integer, which is bad. I can get this to work by casting the integer to a string. So you have string number. So now we have a string plus a string plus a string, and that works. The second thing that people mess up is not understanding that casting is temporary. So here I'm doing a variable equals input. And so number in this example, number the variable number is going to be a string. So in line two, I think I'm casting it to an integer. So that in line three, I can do math to it, but it breaks. It breaks because in line three, number is still a string. Casting is going to be temporary unless you save it to a variable. In this next one, the issue is people will sometimes try to do too much. So if I want to, I can use an input and cast it right away and so that I have an integer or, or float right away in one line. This is not something I recommend that you do. I recommend that you do two lines. One is the input and the second line is the casting, saving it to a variable. When you're starting out, I recommend that you do one thing in one line. And the last one is that people will just try to cast things that do not make any sense. So in this example, I'm trying to cast strawberries are yummy to a float. That makes no sense. Strawberries are yummy is like words. You can't transform words into numbers. So you see the error here, it basically tells you what's going on, that you can't do this sort of casting. And it's the same error if I do int blah blah. Here's where I go over the lab solutions. You should pause the video and try these all out. But if you can't get it for some reason, I'm going over the solutions right now. So in this first one, we need to print a one line statement that prints out, Muhammad lives with this many roommates. This right here is the relevant example code. I'm actually gonna copy and paste it right in. It's gonna to wanna to print out Muhammad lives with this many roommates. And the trick here is num roommates is an integer. So if I just put num roommates in there, it will crash. So I have to cast to a string, string plus a string is happy. And when I run it, it works. Next one, casting two. 
The idea here is casting is temporary, and if I want to make it permanent, I need to save it back to a variable. So here I'm not supposed to change any of this code. I need to add just one line of code. The relevant code is there. And actually I think I can just straight up copy and paste it exactly in. So number equals to float number, which turns it permanently into a float. And then I can do math to it. So I do math to it and then I cast it back to a string so I can print it out. Let's test it and it works and it's happy. All right, the third one. So this is casting debugging one. Something is wrong with this one. Hopefully by now it's super obvious. Number is an integer. So I need to cast number into a string. Then I'll have string plus string and it's happy. And on the last one, this is something that messes people up sometimes. Whenever it comes from an input, it is automatically a string. So kilos right now is a string. If I want to do math to kilos though, kilos needs to be a float. So I'm going to cast kilos into float with float parentheses kilos. And if I do that, it works. I could also make this change permanent. So kilos equals to float kilos. That's another way to do it. They're both fine in this instance. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.